Hey there, this is Tumok, and we are back with more Rechain of Memories. In the last part, we just got up here to, uh, fifth floor, and Zora's starting to remember a girl. You know, I keep calling her Anemone, even though that's not a real name. So let's set up the next world. Right now, we have Agrabah and Olympus Coliseum. Let's go with Agrabah, because I like the three wishes. Even though it doesn't really matter a whole lot which one we do first, since both bosses are about the same difficulty. Hopefully, eventually, I'll be able to get a key to rewards card so I can start showing you those. Last time I was playing through this, I was getting them right and left. Look, Sora, someone's in trouble! Oh no, it's Aladdin! And he actually has a sword now. Wait, he had a sword in the first game. We better do something! Mind if we help? Thanks, I thought I was done for. And required battle against, I think, just shadows. But we'll see about that. Right now it's just shadows. Come on. Actually, no. Uh, we can set up some raw spells with this. With two Donalds. Kiora and Thundra. That's pretty good. Ah, uh, some swordsmen? That's not what they're called. I'll look this up. And smash them down. Yes. Alright then. Oh, ow. Couldn't dodge, because the thing goes recharging and you can't move. At least you can't do any of the actions while you're moving. Alright then. Oh, and a fat body. Or fire body, I think is what they're called. Come on. See, like, already in the first fight, we've We've gotten two new types of Heartless. And Blitz! Yeah. Alright, that, that was pretty good. We killed them. And I want to get more Aladdin cards before I even use that. Hey, I got two. Let's reload anyway so we can get a full stack. And Sandstorm! But he does, he'll just chase around them. Chase them around. And he'll make them drop Moogle points. Which is very good, and I'm just about dead, so I better use Kiora. Forgot this fight was this long. Of course, I'm probably just taking my sweet ass time with it. And I leveled up. Split. Ah, oh, great. And let's reload. Come on. Kill these guys. I think this is the last one. Yep, he dropped the card. Find bounty, let's reset the music fast. Help! Because I haven't done that in a while. Please stop with the buzzing. Come on, get on with it. There's two, they just keep coming. Guess we better use the lesson to see if the legends are true. Magic lamp, my first wish. Get rid of these heartless. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Stand back, kids. Genie of the lamp coming through. Ain't nothing I can't make. <laughs> it's rain. And if we had rain in the desert... But enough dry jokes. One heartless disappearing act coming right up. That was, that was easy. Gosh! Why didn't you just call him in the first place? Because he's a summon card. It's not that simple, you see. I couldn't have said it better. <laughs> couldn't have said it better myself, but I will anyway. I'm sure Clement has three wishes per master. And angsty on the wish anymore, wishes. <laughs> so you got two more wishes left. Better use them carefully. 
I've got to get back to the palace somehow, but with all the, these heartless. Hey, Sora, we, we're headed that way too, so why don't we help out Aladdin? Sounds like a plan. That would be great, thanks a lot. Get to the beginnings. Now, I like to use the Aladdin cards because, well, he'll make it so the enemies will drop money, or MP in this game, since the currency is actually called money, and he does pretty good damage. So let's... I actually want to check out what those Heartless were called. Uh, ch ch I think it's... No, it's not card completion. Card index. Enemy cards. I hope these aren't the... They're the actual cards. Crap. Uh, characters. The Heartless. Large body. Oh, they're yellow operas. Green Requiem. They're, so, they're called bandits. And that's... Oh, you can actually see the models. I forgot about that. That's pretty cool. Alright, and they're called Fat Bandits. They're fire-based, so they're weak to ice. And... Yeah, you have to destroy the... Well, to destroy the sand, you have to hit them with a combo. Ooh! A three wishes! Where'd it go? Come back, my wishes! And it already screwed up again. Where... There we go. Let's kill this thing. Alright. And destroy the bandits. I think the bandits will give you a temporary attack increase. They won't... Not like increasing the power of your card. Well, actually that's what they do. They increase the damage you deal per hit. And spin! Come on, kill Shadow. Alright. Oh, you almost got the opera. Ow. You dead, boy. And what do we get now? Blooming Darkness. In that room, Heartless will constantly go towards you. It's like they know where you are. Kind of like they are right here. And great, they still killed the Shadow before I destroyed the stand. And where we got those movable points. Alright. Let's spin on. Come on. Uh, get to the spin. Uh, almost got to it. Come on, we can kill him. We can do it! Oh, I forgot to check the status on the three wishes. There we go. What is this? Uh... Eternal Darkness? No, it's a roulette room. Alright then. Since I forgot to do that... Let's look at it. And I always go down. Three wishes! Strike is C+, Thrust is D+, so it's slightly weaker than the other cards we've gotten so far. Combo finish is B. That's the best we've got so far. It's a physical still. Card break is B. Uh, slightly worse. And requirement is A. Obtained an Agrabah fairly strong with a fast swing. So it's like, I want that now. So how much does one cost? A5 cost 19, like the rest of the cards I've gotten so far, besides the Kingdom Key will cost 19 for level 5. So then, let us continue on killing this. Let's try and kick Harry the Bandits first. Yeah, it's like eventually I'm actually gonna pretty much just destroy my deck to get rid of all the Kingdom Keys so I can just customize it better. And what is this? Another Goofy card? Yes, it is. Oh, why you want to kill the Requiems is that they can heal themselves and other heartless. So let's recharge and kill this. Alright, what do we get? I think it's a reprieve. Yep, it, we got a moment to reprieve. I think that's just about all the heartless in this room, at least down here. Since there'll be some more right up here. Yep, like right here. And I will cut this out since I've been showing this for a while. 
Alright, we got a meeting ground. Alright, then let's destroy these stands. Hopefully they contain... Yeah, more Moogle points. It seems like nothing good is dropping health in this world, which I'm kind of fine with that. Uh, there's some health. Alright, is there anything we can blow up right around here? There's this little shadow we can blow up. Which I'm not sure if the explosive barrels actually take off half health. Uh, it looks like they do. Instead of a certain amount. I thought... Like, I'm surprised, I'll be surprised that this shadow has more than one hit point, and I am surprised, so it looks like they take off half health. Alright then, uh, just one offer to take care of, and what we get? A Sorcerer's Awakening. I'm not sure if I've mentioned that, but in those rooms, your magic cards are increased by one point. Alright then, what we got here? A level one. Uh, ch -ch Let's start this off. Now, what, like, what, something I like about the one card, it says has to be open with a one, higher, or a zero, so it can be open with yeah. any card. Yeah. Alright, and we got a kingdom key. Great. Yeah. And I think that's a blizzard card. Yeah, it's a blizzard. You're level eight at that, so that's pretty strong. Yeah. Yeah. I'll probably put that back in when we have to fight Axel again. Maybe not on the initial fight, but when we fight him. I might lose two or three times before that. And gravity! I forget what gravity does. So I am going to actually look it up. Magic cards. Gravity. Magic deals damage relative to the enemy's remaining HP. Stock two for Gravga and three for Gravga. So like in the Final Fantasy game, Demi, you can you cannot kill Heartless with gravity. You can you can do a lot of damage with gravity, but they can never die. Like I think Gravga will deal two thirds max max HP. All right, so let's let let me see. I'll put a roulette room in here. So we can get a hopefully a wide variety of card types. Like I have, there's more than one type of treasure room, besides the key to rewards one. All right then, what do we got here? Fat Bandit. Let's get behind him so we can destroy him now. Stun Impact, so he's stunned more. And Stun Impact gets pretty good damage in itself. And great, I didn't attack behind him. Come on, we can do it! Oh, I was targeting the shadow. Come on, one more Aladdin card so he lasts a long time. Screw it. Come on, hit everything! Ah, uh, that was pretty good. That was like 50 points. That was, that was a pretty good attack. Alright then, now what we got. Now there are ways you can lose Moogle points in battle, but I don't think any of those Heartless appear in this world. Alright, see, you have to stack them together for them to get their effect. Since I stack two Aladdin separately, I'll actually get two level 1 Sandstorms, which might be better depending on how you do things. Alright, that was pretty good. What can we get? What can we get? As always, I'm probably going to try and for the Moogle Room. Let's see if I can get it. Yes! Sometimes I miss those really easy, easily. But not this time, Trebek. Alright, anything? Just some help. That was pretty- Whoa! Hey there, big guy. I think I need to stab you in the back. Alright, Shadow. Stun him. Oh. Oh man, wasn't quite behind him. But we can do this. One more. There we go. The most threatening person dead now. 
or not really threatening, but annoying, since he can screw up your attacks on other Heartless. Alright, come on, let's have some thunder. That's not thunder. That's thunder, there you go. Come on, we can do this. The fat guy's dead. Come on, Aladdin, kill this guy. Yep, see, Aladdin does pretty good damage in, on his own. Another roulette room. Alright then, anything near here? No, it doesn't look like it, so we can just destroy the stand. How much was that? Four Moogle points? That's a chip. And another kingdom key. Good for selling. Not really, but not much else use there. And great. Alright, and it didn't stun the shadows that are in the ground, because, well, they're in the ground. And we got the roulette modifier. Come on, Aladdin, kill him! Yeah, the, the front cards are actually... They're immune to, like, front guard that a couple of the monsters will have. And bosses. You know, I think one of the bosses, when you're actually fighting, won't have any friend cards available to you. Come on, we gotta heal. And we can't stun impact, since that card combination is gone from the front of our deck. Come on, we can do this. And more, oh, I think it's the Aladdin card. Did I get all the experience? Uh, I think I did. Anyway, now what do we got for this combination? Uh, so I'll go with... Uh, something that's pretty much useless to me. A Sorcerer's Awakening. And we also level up during that. So... Let's get some more CP. Alright. There we go. That took a while to load it for some reason. Alright, let us put this in here and replace a Kingdom Key card. Alright, we got over 50 points we have to deal with. So let's put in a 6 here. Wait, is this a 6? Yes, it is. Now we got 25, so we'll put a 7 in there. And how many more Kingdom Key cards do we have left? Three, four, five, six, seven. Seven more Kingdom Key cards, and then I got rid of them all in my deck. So then we've gotten overall more powerful. So then, in the next part, we will be continuing over to the palace, and hopefully I won't get in this fight so I can cut out. So this has been Tumok. See you. Stay away from me!